moment I had a bowl full of worms and grubs, and the next moment they were gone! Just like the rabbit's fruit and vegetables. Except that an herbivore wouldn't eat worms and grubs. The thief must be an omnivore, something that eats everything. I really thought my food was safe. I mean, my house is all the way up in this tree. So either the thief can fly, or they're a good climber. <gasps> Sam, look! The same paw print as before. How quickly do you think you can catch this thief? My kids are getting hungry. Mom, when's dinner? Don't worry, we're on the case. And it's just the darndest thing. I opened the fridge and all my food had vanished. And let me guess, you keep your food somewhere that's hard to steal from. I sure do. I keep a light in the living room for guests. But the rest of the house is pitch black. Go on into the kitchen and see for yourselves. Watch it! Watch it! Pitch black, all right. So the thief can see in the dark, too. What kind of food did they take? Nuts and seeds! Wow, this thief really does eat everything. Huh, and there's that same paw print! Thanks for your time. We'll get your food back before you know it. So, here's what we've got. This thief can see in the dark, can either fly or climb, is good with their hands... And they eat lots of different foods. Sam, I can think of only one animal that matches all those clues. A raccoon! Director Scratch! What are you doing here? Sorry to surprise you, agents, but I couldn't stop thinking about this case. It reminds me of another case I worked on a long time ago, right here in this very forest. The Roxy Raider Incident. I was a clade agent in my prime. There was no case I couldn't crack, no suspect I couldn't catch. I was the best there was. So when I was sent to the forest to investigate a theft, I thought I had it in the bag. The details of the case were exactly the same as yours. Stolen food right before winter, paw prints left behind. The thief was a raccoon, but not just any raccoon. <laughs> it was Roxy Raider, the trickiest bandit around. She could climb any tree, see in the dark, pick any lock with her nimble paws. In short, a master thief. I almost caught her, but she escaped down the river. <laughs> Roxy Raider! I never did catch her. It was the only case I couldn't close. Do you think Roxy is the thief? Did you find a paw print at every place where food had been stolen? <gasps> we did! Then it's definitely Roxy. She leaves paw prints behind as her special mark. What does Roxy Raider look like, Director? <gasps> what in the woolly world? Yeah, she looks like this! <laughs> oh, just missed him! Almost got him! <laughs> Rock and roll! I'm closing in! Close. I've got, got the thief. thief! Wait, you got the thief, but I've got the thief. Polly! Petey? Hippie? Pop? Huh? huh? Anybody want to explain what's going on here? But you did it! You found all the Pika thieves! Including you! Well now, says who? I don't have any stolen flowers, do I? She's got a point, Sam. Without the stolen flowers, how can we prove that they took anything? Hmm, Whiskers, that's it. If we find the flowers, we find the thief. Hey, stay away from my hay! I'll put it back, I just want to check something. Ha! As I suspected, dried yellow flowers. And blue. And pink. And red flowers, too. I knew it! Those are my red flowers! So Polly was the thief all along. Yeah! Uh, hang on. She's not the only thief. After all, her flowers were stolen, too. I reckon if we search everyone else's haystacks, we'll find all different colors of stolen flowers there, too. Blue box, go! Multicolored flowers in Petey's haystack. And Pippi's. Pops, too. So all of you were stealing flowers from each other. You're all haystack thieves. Oh, it's true. I took some flowers from Petey. 
And I took some from Pippi. And I took some from Pop. All right. I took a few from Polly, too. I'm sorry. It's just you can only eat so many red flowers before you get tired of them. Last winter, I ate so many blue flowers, my tongue turned blue. I guess we just all wanted to try something new. Well, that's easy. If you all just shared your flowers, then everyone could get a little of each. Share our flowers? Say, that's a mighty fine plan. Hey, guys, pick up your pitchforks! What a sound. Thanks for your help, my squad. Another creature case closed. Ah, it's finally springtime. Everybody, wake up. Wakey, wakey. Come on, we've had all winter to sleep. Who's ready to get out there and eat some bugs? What's the matter? Why is everyone sneezing? Let's see, tailitis. Symptoms include a tail that tingles. Yep, my tail's definitely tingly. A tail that itches. Yep, it's itchy too. And wiggles uncontrollably. Yep, I've definitely got tailitis. Okay. <laughs> what? Looks like you've got it too. Oh, luckily it only lasts about a day. We should take it easy. Rest up and huh? the clay crest. So much for resting. Director Scratch has a new case for us. Agents, as you can see, I've come down with tailitis too. Do chickens even have tails? <laughs> the mice squad just sent this troubling footage from a cave in the North American forest. When these bats woke up from their long winter sleep, they all started sneezing. Uh, I take sneezing over this. <laughs> and you need us to figure out why they're sneezing. Ordinarily, yes. But you're not in any shape to be solving mysteries today. You'll stay here and rest until your tailitis goes away. So, who's gonna help the bats? Ah, that's the real question, isn't it? All our active agents have tailitis too. Sounds like a job for a nature ranger. Uh Wally! How you been? Wally Bungler? How did you get this number? Better let old Wally handle this one. Those baddies need our help. Our help? Director, I never thought I'd say this, but Wally's right. He's helped us before, and if we can't go and solve this case, maybe he can. Please. All right. But only if you two guide him, remotely, of course. Think you can handle this, bungler? On my honor as a nature ranger. <laughs> now arriving at destination by you. African desert. Now arriving at destination bio. Mong Bing! African desert. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> Not really. You need to sound more machine <laughs> hmm. No sign of Wally. This desert looks deserted. I downloaded Wally's last message to his mum. Maybe there's a clue there. I'm on patrol over the African <laughs> desert. Did you hear that? Play it again. What is that sound? I don't know, but now I hear it nearby. There! Aina! That sound he made, it was on the recording. He must have been there when Wally disappeared. Clan of hyenas. 
Maybe they can tell us what happened to Wally. Only one way to find out. Hello there, hyenas. I wonder if any of you has seen our friend. <laughs> <laughs> Invaders! This area belongs to our clan! Keep away or else! Sam... Hyenas don't trust outsiders like us. They'll only talk to members of their own clan. Then... how will we question them? Maybe we have to go... undercover. You mean, disguise ourselves as a hyena? How? I got an idea! Are you sure I'm the one who should be doing this? Aren't hyenas more like foxes? Actually, hyenas are more like cats. Just go in there, show them your spots, and once they trust you, ask about Wally. Simple. Yeah, simple. All right, I'm ready. Let's hope I can imitate a hyena as well as I can imitate Ron. Uh, right. Sam, wait. Now you're ready. I'll be listening in through our radios. I got your back, partner. <coughs> hey there, fellow hyena. By any chance, have you seen a flying squirrel around here? Where'd you come from? I don't like the look of your spots. Wait, let me guess. You want to join our clan? Uh. Um, yes, that's right. Good guess. I can see why you're the leader. <laughs> huh, not so fast. You can join us if you pass the three tests. Tests? Yeah, tests. <laughs> I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Sorry, guys. It's up to you now. Stay cool out there, Aiden. You can count on us, Director. <laughs> <laughs>